Richard Hammond is here, branching out from driving cars to fixing them up as his workshop returns for a new series and he's getting his whole family involved. Y yeah, you're bringing Mindy, uh, your, your, your wife, into the business and yeah. you're teaching one of your daughters to drive. But, yeah. but the thing about workshop yeah. is it's not a made-for-TV yeah. construct. Yeah. It's not a conceit. It, it, you really do run a workshop to fix up old bangers. Yeah, yeah, no, this yeah. happened for real. Basically, Neil and Anthony, so Neil, father and son, they'd been fixing my cars for years. They were losing their workshop and I've always wanted to do it. So I said, well, why don't we set up a business together? Mm -hmm. Then, secondary to that, I said, that might make a TV show. So, so it's a genuine thing. I say old bangers, but we're actually talking about beautiful vintage cars, aren't we? Well, that was... Uh, the idea was we're only going to do the very best. Uh -huh. I mean, these guys are amazing. We've been joined by Andrew, Neil's brother now, so it's Neil, Anthony and Andrew. So it's a family oh, affair, right, apart right. from me. Um, Not Andrew, Neil. Yeah, 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 Andrew, Neil and... Who we just had on the show? Go on. No, Andrew Greenhouse. Oh, well, uh, sorry. I, no, he wouldn't... You didn't really... Yes. yes, sorry. Yeah, sorry, you conned us. Yeah. It's been a long morning. Yeah. We're, it's still, a long it's long morning. Morning. We're still in this political is... turmoil well, this... mode. I'm, I'm not here to unpick the economy or stop a war. Right. So it's nice... Well, look, just, just Stop Oil, who was spraying orange paint all over yeah. St Martin's uh, HQ in London yesterday, would say that, that, that you are basically the devil incarnate uh, for, for, for running these old cars. But you have a very interesting riposte to that. Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, it's kind of a really silly time to be setting up a workshop restoring old cars. <laughs> but actually, if you think about it, I mean, for one thing, I, they're, they're trying to draw attention to their cause. I get that. Yeah. But a bunch of Aston Martins that won't do many miles a year aren't going to have a great deal of impact. Most classic cars because they're old, the carbon footprint of their creation is long in the past. Right. If they do less than 1,000 miles a year, their carbon footprint a year is about half that of your mobile phone or your laptop. <laughs> because we're keeping old things going that have already been made, any resources have been mined, any carbon footprint in its creation has been done, mm -hmm. you're actually better off for most people, even if you have got 50 grand to go and buy a new electric car, which most people, nearly everybody hasn't, even if you did have, actually you're better off keeping an old car going in many cases if you're not doing many miles. You're recycling. Well, that's what we, we are make do and mend. Uh, well, sometimes mend. The thing <laughs> is, <laughs> running a business, it turns out, because I've spent 25 years commentating on other people's mm. work in the motor industry and going on car launches and having a lovely time, mm -hmm. going to car shows, but somebody else arranges it, I just turn up. All of a sudden, we're doing it for real as a business, and it turns out, running a business... Well, you said it's a money pit. You, 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 so far, you, you've lost money. You haven't made any money. Oh, yeah. yeah. I sold most of my classic cars to buy equipment to restore other people's classic right. cars. And then, because we told them we could do it more quickly than we thought we could, I've actually paid to restore their cars on equipment I paid for. Mm. Let me put it this way. The U-turn the on the corporation tax, so it is going to increase... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not going to affect me because you'd have to make a profit in the business. I, it could be 90%. I'm never going to touch me at all. Can you explain something to me? I, I, Probably I, not. I, I, no, I, you, you'll explain this. I'll give it a go. I, I, I'm very fond of cars. My, my dad worked for Ford. Um, they're kind of sort of in my blood. But I'm not quite sure why so many, and in particular men, obviously there are exceptions to that, have a sort of love affair with the motor car. Why do you think it is? What is it about this, this, this piece of metal uh, that, that, <laughs> that people get so passionate about? Well, have we got... I, know, have we got? <laughs> I think because, uh, for one thing, they're, they're an example of human ingenuity. I mean, I know we've got electric cars coming, and that's great, they'll have their place, solid state has its place, but if you think about it, a lot of people use electric watches now. I don't know to tell you how many steps you've done, but we still love the, the, the old-school analogue things because yeah. they're fascinating devices. They're about harnessing physics. They also move us bodily from one place to another to do stuff. Whether that's go to work, go on a date, buy stuff, escape, whatever, they move us corporeally. And also, they are a time capsule. They speak of their time, the aesthetic of the time. What did people want to express? It's the second biggest purchase after your house. So what did you want to say? Did you want to say, I'm flamboyant? Did you want fins, a loud engine? Did you want something modest, discreet, stylish? All right, then, so why, they're, did, they're why did my heart beat faster yesterday when I was walking down the street and I passed a beautifully restored Jaguar Mark Two, you know, the, the Inspector Morse car in a lovely electric blue. It looked like it had just come off the production line. And I just stood and my tongue sort of lolled out and I stared <laughs> at it. Because you're so a child and that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Basically, men are soft. children is what you're I mean, saying. I'm not sure about this stereotyping it exclusively to men. I think it can be shared. I, I don't say know it was exclusive. I don't know why. I just, no, I didn't say it was, Of course, there are no, lots of No, I know what you mean, cars. though. I just, meant, is... I just meant that more men tend to it be. It is. You're absolutely right. And I don't know why. I don't know if that is shifting and changing. Um, I, th I certainly think in racing, I mean, heck, Abby Eaton that I've been working with, who's our driver on the Grand Tour and now is doing some work with us on my There's new show. Yeah, um, terrifically I fast think, women. I think that is changing. 
but the actual that feeling in mm. the chest, I don't know. No. no. Um, so uh, the ultimate insult that Richard could give to Jeremy Clarkson when he was with him on uh, Let's call him Chris. Celebrity Millionaire was to call him Chris. Yeah. After Chris Tarrant, who used yeah. to do the same job. What's the worst thing you've ever called Jeremy Clarkson? Yeah, we're, we're live, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're not going to do a Miriam Margolis <laughs> on the Today programme. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> do you know, the, the funny thing is, we don't actually argue and shout at each other that often. When no. we do, it tends to be quite big, but we because we've all worked together for so long, there's no need. Of course, and how's James doing after his... Because you are a veteran of frightening crashes. Mm. Mm. Then James Not anymore. had... Yeah, James had a pretty he's, nasty spin. He's taken my crown and he's yeah. welcome to it. Here we um, go, let's have a look. Is this him? Oh, right, here we go. Well, there's, there's right, Jeremy. explain to me what happened. Why oh! did he do that? Ow, ow, ow. I know. Oh, not good for the brain inside the old skull there. Well, there's <laughs> plenty of room for it to rattle about in his case. <laughs> is, he, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine, he's good. fine. It made him jump, though. It was all made us all jump. It's all jump. Did. Just watch I thought we'd had it. Look, it's just gone eight o'clock, so we're going to have to... I'll go now. Do a U-turn, I'm afraid. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Popular today. Must be time for another one. <laughs> Must be. Richard, thanks very much. Lovely to see you.